Alrighty. So it is all working. Got my finger on the temp sensor, which I've just put on a extended lead so I can put on top of the receiver. I'll go over the specifics in a sec. So it's plugged in there. And obviously you can see they're working. Now I've used the low voltage um, connectors because it's just way too too quick and they're pretty loud. So these are pretty quiet now. See the holes aren't perfectly 120 mil. They're only about uh, four inches, so 102 mil, 103 mil. Uh, it's just the hole saw that I had. Unfortunately, I didn't have 120, and I'm not really going to go out and buy a new hole saw just for this, so that should do it. I'll give you another view from the front in a second. So now, take it away, and the fans turn off. Just like that. So I'll go over, so I've got it plugged in here with just a 1.5 amp 12 volt DC adapter. Then it runs up. And then I've just drilled a couple of holes and looped the wire so if you pull on it, um, it's not gonna pull the wire out of the circuit board. And then you can actually get a box for this to mount in, but I didn't really bother. So this runs up. And then you've got your power into the board, and then your fan splices into that, and then you switch the earth. So then the earth comes out of here, goes into the switch wire, it's kind of hard to see, and then out of that switch is your earth for your fans. So yeah, it just switches the earth, which is pretty common. And then your sensor wire, you can either just have the sensor straight on the board, uh, but they say to not put this in any heat. So I've mounted on the back with little screw holes and I've just spaced it off with some little plastic spacers that I had laying around. They're actually prop adapters for an RC plane. And that spaces it off just enough. And um, yeah, then it switches the earth and the fans come on. Then with this little screw here, you can adjust the actual um, turn on temperature of the fans. So I had a bit of a play around with this before because it was turning on at about 70 degrees before. So I've turned that right down and it's pretty good now. I mean, in the real test, we'll, we'll see, but. So I've made all this circuit board. Uh, you get in a kit, just bare board and all the components and you gotta solder it up. I wouldn't say I'm really excellent with this sort of thing and uh, I found it pretty easy. So I think anyone can really do it. And if you maybe just have a little bit of practice soldering some wire first and then go from there. That's pretty easy. And then the temperature sensor itself, it's um, not insulated. So I've soldered on the wires, which was actually left over wire from the power wire. I've soldered those on and then heat shrink those. And then I put some clear heat shrink over the entire thing. So the actual tip is also um, insulated and then just the ex the end is exposed to get the temperature reading in there so it is a bit of a delayed um, turn on because it has to kind of heat up the rubber somewhat but you can factor that into the running so yeah, it's pretty easy to adjust just a little allen key in there so I'll have a bit of a play once it's actually on the receiver and see what it's like. So that goes in through there to sit on top of the receiver. I might just tape that. And then if we go around to the other side, you can see my fans there. So instead of pre-drilling, um, I've just wound them in and then the um, the veneer on the wood has kind of acted like a little bit of a buffer because I didn't want um, screws coming through and I couldn't get a screw that was, you know, just thick enough because it's quite thin wood. So this sort of bulges out like this, which looks a little bit shit, but it kind of stops a, a metal screw poking through that you can scratch your hands on. So 
So that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. Uh, the kit was $25 from JCAR. The fans I had laying around, but you can say they were about $10 to $15, depending on what uh, quality of fan you get. And then the adapter itself was, I think, about 20 bucks, maybe a little bit less. So you've got 20 25 and then the fans and anything else you want to really add if you need to get wire or soldering iron or solder it'll obviously add to the cost but um, it's not always needed so it's a lot cheaper than uh, anything you can buy on the internet and a lot better because you can just judge your quality by the quality of fans that you buy the controller unit will control and you're up to three amps so you could add a lot of fans for that and um, you can just yeah Add whatever for some Noctua computer fans, which are really, really quiet and really efficient. High CFM rating for the the dB rating of the fan, and uh, you can you know you can go nuts. So I'll see how these fans go. They are quite a cheap thermal tape fan that I had sitting around, uh, but if they're a little bit too noisy, I'll replace them for some Fractal Design R3 silence, which is what I got in my computer, and they're super quiet and pretty cheap as well, only about twelve bucks each. So. Thanks for watching my video guys, and any questions put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you like this sort of thing, because there will be more to come, and I'll see you later.